Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play Can't Stop by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So uh, we have that main riff there. Um, there's about four or five parts that we're going to tackle in this song. Um, but I'll skip the intro. The intro is just simple. Hammering from five to seven on the A string. And uh, a couple times he was just kind of do a quick little half step bend and release on that seventh fret. But he's continuing to do that. And then about halfway through it, he starts picking both notes. Just, you know, building the tension and all that fun stuff. All right, then we get to this main riff. All right, so it's gonna start with, uh, uh, just, just, just kind of a lot of, just got a lot of down up motion. So there's gonna have to be a lot of muting going on in the left hand because you're just constantly just you know nailing the strings and um, in between the little melody notes. So let me just show you what's going on. The two notes on top are always just seven on the G to nine. So we're just changing around the bass note. Hit that seventh fret twice on the um, A string, then three times back to those two notes. And more, three more times. So we have this. All right, now over to the D, open D string. Hit that once, then three times. Three more times. So we have this. Just we're starting with two notes here on this seventh fret here. Kind of only when it first starts does it do that. And then the rest of it just starts with a one and three three. All right, now to the seventh fret with your thumb here on the low E string. All right, then move that up to the eighth fret there with your thumb. And then we're back to the starting over with the the E note here, which is the seventh fret on the A string, and it's starting with just one hit this time. So we have this. So. So when you hear them, you're going to hear a lot of like some strings ring every once in a while and you're going to hear some muting, a lot of muting going on. Because he's kind of keeping that feel going while he's in between the notes. So he's kind of really trying to mute the strings out. But every once in a while one will slip out and stuff. So it's kind of, because he's doing a lot of muting with his thumb. So it's like really difficult to just kind of get that A string muted. He's muting it with his thumb a lot. So it's kind of, kind of um, hairy. Uh, we're going to end this riff with... Which is seven, eight, nine on the uh, seven on the high E, eight on the B, nine on the G. That kind of leads us into the chorus. All right. Now the chorus is going to sound like this. Kind of repeating those chords. So it's just more. He uses his thumb a lot. Kind of very Hendrix influence. So low E string, third fret here. And then bar the third fret on the high E and the B string, um, fourth fret on the G, fifth fret on the D. And once again, he's muting that A string with the top of his third finger. Then do a D major chord. You got the full bar going between the seventh fret on the B, G, and the D. I do it with my uh, little finger. You can do it with your third finger. So we have. Then we have basically a B minor chord. Thumb is taking care of the low note again, and you have 
Just the rest chord 9 on the A and the D, and then a bar across the 7th fret on the top 3 strings. Move that thumb up to the 8th fret now. And we're going to have this uh, C major 7th chord. 10 on the D, 9 on the G, 8 on the... and 7 on the high E. And now you're going to have to reach over and mute that A string with your thumb. Fun stuff. So we have... Just repeat those chords. He just keeps uh, repeating these a few times. And at the very last time through, it goes, oh, I'm sorry. It's just the last two chords kind of hit kind of sharply. Ninth fret on the D, seventh on the G, tenth on the B. And then that same uh, C major seventh chord without the thumb, yay. So, all right, so this, those two chords just in that, that chorus. Uh, we have a couple more parts to look at. We have the bridge, uh, which has a couple guitar parts in it. Uh, the first one's kind of reggae influenced. It sounds like this. So it's kind of the same four chords repeated twice, but we have a slight variations in it. So we're going to start here with this E minor chord. And at first he has, does have the thumb on the low E string, and he's playing 14 on the D um, and the A string, and then 12 on the B and the G. It's about as far as he's strumming. Strum the chord and then kill it. Just mute it with your, your both hands, just kind of just release the pressure down here, and this comes down on the strings. Four times. Then down to this chord, which you can, don't really need the thumb anymore. He's not really using it. It's A on the D. It's basically this chord shape, but A on the D and the uh, the 12th fret on the A and the D, 11th on the G, 10th on the B. Hit that three times, and when you're leaving it, you're gonna play 12 on the B, 11 on the G, uh, 12 on the D. So we have. So from here, all right, now to that B minor we did earlier, hit that twice, and then you're going to do this quick little maneuver, that same chord we did earlier, 9 on the D, 7 on the G, 10 on the uh, B string, and then 8 on the B, 7 on the high E. So we have this. And then to this same chord shape we did here at the 10th fret, but at the 8th. Do that three times and then shift up and hit the, that chord we just came from, that chord we did earlier once. So we have... And that takes us back to start over. So all together so far... Now we're back up, starting over to the same four chords. We're going to start the same way, this E minor. You're going to hit it three times in, then you're going to add now the 13th fret on the B. All right, so that's going to be on the last hit. All right, same thing we did on the second chord last time. Now on the B minor, you just hit it four times. And then that last chord, just hit it four times without even moving around. Actually, you may move that up to start it over. But right then, the new part comes in, which you'll probably jump into, and it sounds like this. So it's pretty much picking across this E minor Try it up here. And the, the first time through, he starts on the B string. And then starts picking across the strings twice. 
Then he adds the 13th fret on the B, back and forth between that and the G string. Then 13, 12. Then come back here, but it's, it's a D major chord. So it's 10th fret bar, the high E in the B string, 11th on the G. Descend twice across those three strings. And then of course, now the 12th fret on the B. Now I want to shift down here. All right, so we have another D major chord. And it's five on the high E, seven on the B and the G strings. We're gonna pick across those twice, then pick the high note again, and then repeat it. Come up to this E minor. It's a seven on the um, high E string, eight on the B, nine on the G. You keep picking across to those the very last time. Play to the 10 on the B string, and then you just repeat it again. This time I'll just start on the high E string. Now he has some kind of crazy effect on there too, so it's kind of, unless you've got that, it probably won't sound exactly like the album. All right, and then all we have left is a solo. Uh, I don't have a big solo tone going here, but I'll, I'll do my best. It kind of sounds like this. Pretty basic. So we just got a whole step bend at the 15th fret on the B, then do it again, and just hit normal. So we get then 15, 12, then a 12 to over to 12 on the G. Hit that a couple more times. Back to the whole step bend at the 15. Then a whole step bend at the 17. Release it to the 15 on the B. So we have the. Then. And that's a whole step bend at the 15 again. Followed by 12th fret on the B. And then we just have 15 on the B, 14, 12 on the G, and they end it with the 14th on the D. All right, so I mean, the main riff to get mastered is that funky thing that I opened the video with, and that's really probably the toughest part too, just to get it to sound really snappy and get it to sound exactly like he's doing. Remember, there's a lot of muting, and you just gotta gotta really keep that uh, that kind of feel going in the left in the right hand, and then um, the kind of muting will just kind of fall into place. If you play it enough and make those notes come out, you'll notice your fingers are starting to kind of just start naturally muting the other strings to kind of keep it as quiet as possible. All right, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.